Hey everyone, thank you for tuning into this video. So today I wanted to talk about uh, why Kim and I are not celebrating Valentine's Day. Now, if you're a subscriber or you've been watching the vegan adventure videos, you know Kim, my fiance, and you've seen um, you've, maybe you've seen us actually when I proposed to her um, back in over the holidays at Christmas. We decided to not celebrate Valentine's Day, which is kind of crazy for me to think about um, because for the last, it seems like almost 10 years, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. I'm saying at least 10 years. I've never had a relationship over Valentine's Day. And I was always very depressed, um, especially during that time, um, because I had no one to give a gift to, give flowers to, give a card to, go out to dinner with, go to a movie, have a date with and do the whole Valentine's Day thing with. And now I'm engaged to my perfect soulmate. There's not a doubt in our minds God created us perfectly, designed us, uh, and that we're supposed to be together. So Kim posted a video called The History of Valentine's Day not too long ago. Um, it's called His The History of Valentine's Day, A Pagan Holiday by Truth Unedited on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing that, I would definitely check it out. I'm going to try to leave a link somewhere in this video uh, for that. But if not, if I'm unable to, to get that right, I'm still pretty new to doing all that stuff on YouTube. Um, it's Truth Unedited and the video is there. But watching that video, um, it's clearly you see it comes from pagan traditions, uh, Greek and Roman gods, who I believe this is this is me. I believe are demons. So anyway, I wanted to see if there was anything in the Bible that spoke about holidays, um, pagan holidays, and what the Lord had to say about those. And of course, there's Valentine's Day is not in there, um, but I did find some interesting verses that pertain to pagan holidays. And I've got some notes here, um, so, uh, let's see. Now, First Peter uh, chapter 4, verse 3. For the time that is past suffices for doing what the Gentiles want to do, living in sensuality, passions, drunkenness, orgies, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry. Now, in that video that I talked about the history of Valentine's Day uh, by Truth Unedited, if you watch that, you will see that the hit that Valentine's Day came from this very thing. These very it was a holiday uh, to get drunk, to have uh, orgies and passion, sensuality, lawless idolatry, everything, everything that I just read, um, that's where Valentine's Day originated from. I'm going to explain how I believe that the Lord brought Kim and I together um, because, you know, it took, it took a little bit of time. And it was on a Valentine's Day a couple of years ago that I was in church. I was with a group of friends. 
one of them being a girl that I was talking to, we had been on some dates, um, we were just trying to see, you know, if there was something there, um, and the message at the church was on relationships, I can't remember if it was singleness or marriage or dating, but it was one of those, it was like a month long series so anyway it was I was sitting there listening to the message and I believe the Lord did something in me uh, right then and there because the girl later who was sitting beside me uh, said that I seemed very distant and just wasn't myself and it was in that moment that I really came to terms with, okay, this is this is who I am. This is this is me. I'm vegan, and there are certain things that I like, and there are certain things I don't like. There are certain things I'll tolerate, and this is me, and and especially the veganism part because this girl uh, would, from time to time, or actually pretty often tend to crack a joke here and there about me being vegan. And I can, I can laugh at jokes. I, they're, you know, I can roll with them. But after a while, it starts to, it, it's just, it's not a joke anymore. It's, hey, this is who I am. This is my lifestyle. Um, so right then and there in church, I came to terms with that and realized I can't be with this girl She's not vegan. She's never going to be. Um, and, and that was that. And I decided that, you know what, I may be alone uh, for the remaining of my life. That just might be how the Lord has it planned out for me. And I accepted that and became a much happier person. Now, did I get lonely here and there? Sure. Um, but my depression that I had, ex had experienced in the past was not there. I was content with life. I had, uh, I have, I was doing the same job I'm doing now, veterinary technician, working in the same place I'm working at now, and just became very content and happy with how life was, and I was okay with being alone. And then later that year. Well, at the end of that year, because that was 2017, Kim and I, I saw, met through a uh, vegan singles group on Facebook. And I saw she had a post on there. I commented that I liked all the things that she had liked, that she liked. And, you know, a few months roll by, she gives me her number. Now, I'm not going to tell our story here. Um, that's for another video, and we'll include, I'll include Kim in that um, because it is something we've talked about doing. So, But I just wanted to tell that side of the story, that there was a, a story before we met that I really had to come to terms with uh, who I am in the Lord. Um, so... With that being said, I'm just going to share a couple more Bible verses about uh, Valentine's Day. Now, also, I want to do say that I believe Valentine's Day is nothing but commercialism now. It's, it's another holiday to get you to buy stuff, to buy cards, flowers, chocolate, whatever it is. It's just a way for the big corporations to get in some extra dollars from your wallet. And they make you feel like you have to do this to be doing what the world is doing to express, to show how much you care for your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your, your best friend maybe. Maybe you've got a friend and you guys just are going to celebrate it in you know, just a friendly way. But... Um, I'm going to read Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. See to it that no one takes you captive 
by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. So I take away from this that, like I just said, Valentine's Day has become a tradition to get people to spend money. Um, that it's the one day out of the year to show, you know, your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever, um, that you love them. And this is, I, you're just, you're just being a slave. You're just, this is how the world has you enslaved. I mean, me and Kim, if you know us, uh, you would know that we tell each other, I love you four, five, ten times a day. I mean, either it's through a text, in person, over FaceTime, because we have had to deal with long distance situations. We're doing long distance right now, but that is going to end very shortly. So no matter, no matter where we are, what we're doing, we always stop to make sure that we're telling each other that we love each other. And now that's what Valentine's Day is supposed, is what the world wants you to believe it's about. But like I said, we do this every day. We live every day like it's Valentine's Day because that's how much uh, we mean to each other and that's how much we want to encourage each other and, and just to pray and bless each other and just to see one another succeed in whatever we're doing in life, whether it's that day, whether it's that goal for the month or the goal for the you know year down the road or whatever it is. So Galatians chapter four, verse eight through 11, formerly when you did not know God, you were enslaved to those that by nature are not gods. Hence the, um, now I'm stopping for a moment there, <clears throat> Valentine's Day, worshiping the Roman and Greek gods who I believe were demons. Um, so now back to reading the scripture. But now you have come to know God or rather be known by God. Now when you get saved, you become known by God. You have that relationship with Jesus Christ, that you can talk to him any time of the day, pray, whatever it is, um, spend time with him. All right, back to reading scripture. How can you turn your back again to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world whose slaves you want to be once more? So once again, the slave men part. This world has us enslaved with these holidays. And so why do you want to go back to that and feel like you have to spend this amount of money uh, to show that you know you love someone or care about them? So one, um, last part of that scripture, you observe days and months and seasons and years. I'm afraid I may have labored over you in vain. Now Paul was writing this letter to the Galatians um, and he's saying you're you just keep falling back to the old ways have have I and I've put so much work into you invested so much into you um, to teach you and he's feeling like he has labored over them in vain because nothing is changing now the last scripture I want to share and I'll wrap this up because I like to keep my videos short. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 21, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. I said it earlier, the gods that were being worshiped, the Greek and Roman gods, um, on Valentine's Day, I believe, are demons. 
if you're going to celebrate Valentine's Day, there's nothing wrong with it, but just do it and know that, you know, Jesus is in the picture. So, and don't feel like you're obligated to go spend a bunch of money and be a slave to the world. That's not what God wants. I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to try to link the video, History of Valentine's Day, Pagan Holiday by Truth Unedited. If you don't see it linked up, then just look it up. It's good. All right. I thank you for watching. Stay awesome. Go vegan.